Okay, guys, we are back with another podcast episode. We're obviously, I'm Pepper. There's so Sal. Hello, Avalon. Hello. How, how are we doing today? I'm tired. Are you real? No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, it's you're early. Not. No, you're not. It's actually four in the it's afternoon. Before my, wait, that doesn't matter. It's it could be four. 5 p.m. It's 5 a.m. right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm gaslighting you. I used to wake up at 5 a.m. for high school. That makes sense. That's what That's time nice Early Bird was starting. You did early bird? Yeah. I never did early, early bird. Early bird was at 6.20 in the morning. Why would you do early bird? And, uh, yeah. Well, I, Why? I had to. They made you. Well, okay, they didn't What? Make you. Okay, if you didn't want to swim, then you had to take early bird. And I'm not swimming at 6 in the morning. I think Wait, I, so if you so if you didn't want to take early bird, you they'd had to make swim. you swim? They'd make you swim. At 6 in the morning? At, well, I guess at 7.20 when school started. What? School but, started at 7.20? Yes, and we got out at 1.45 around lunch, which was... Okay, that's a okay. That's fair. Which was wild. Isn't that the normal time that high schools start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, that, I mean, that's really not too early, is it? No, I mean, for us, it was always 8... Oh, by the way, Jared Hitting's also on the other <laughs> mic. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have waited for an introduction, shouldn't it's I? It's okay. <laughs> Pe- Pepper. James Perry, I should have waited for my introduction. It's okay. I just oh kind of, I just no kind worries. of Jared inserted myself in the dialogue because you are, because that sounded kind of interesting to the point yeah. that yeah, I didn't Go think that 7.20 it. in the morning was really too early. I to don't start. know, though. It, so early bird, though, at my high school was very, mm, I don't know. It was really we, early. So I went to, I went to uh, Jerseyville. Uh, Jerseyville. Early? Jerseyville. Jerseyville Community. Community High School. Yeah, How JCH. early did you guys start? We started at 8.30. Okay. We started at 8.30. That's the, why, what? That's the time the little kids school You starts. literally said you had to get up at 6.30 in the morning. I, I don't want to no, hear No, 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 that's when I had to be there. I had to still get ready in the morning. My bus came at 5.45. Uh, and you went uh, to Alden High. That's gross. Huh? You went to Alden High? I went to Edwardsville High School. You're a tiger? Yes. Oh, no. You know, people in Alton aren't that empathetic to Edwardsville. Because I, I'm not very empathetic to people in Edwardsville either. <laughs> I didn't go to my last years of high school because of how much I didn't I like didn't them. I didn't either. Really? I literally. Yes. I. Which is ironic. I actually, the place that I work for right now is the Edwardsville Arts Center. It's connected to the high school, which is ironic because I hate the high school. Yeah, we started like 830 at Jerseyville and then we went till three. Wow. And then we were done. But we did have early birds. So some people were there earlier, but it was yeah. like, I never did it. My brother is doing early bird right now. Oh, my gosh. He's going to the But yeah, I was like, I'm not doing bus. that. That That's dumb. It was nice, though. That's how I learned how to drive. Because eventually I stopped taking the bus, and my dad would let me drive <gasps> to school. And I, oh, But nobody was on the I road at 5 the in bus. the morning. Mm-hmm. I hated the bus so much. Yeah. I literally, like, one time, I literally, I was the kid that got beat up on the bus. That actually happens multiple times. That yes. does not surprise me, James. Oh I always just sat in like Pro- probably <laughs> because you were talking too much. That is true. I do Man. that. Okay, this one time wasn't my fault. I was literally <laughs> sitting on the bus playing on my 3ds. I was probably playing Pokemon. I was talking to no oh one. My God. Okay, I, I, I have it in my bag today. Really? That's crazy. I have his DS in my bag. Yeah, I'm letting her play Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> I've never played it before. Pokemon White. I'm having her play Pokemon White. Oh, wow. I'm not having her play the new games. We're playing the old games. I don't know. We got to set a standard, and the standard is not the new Pokemon games. They're cute, though. I don't know. So anyway, so anyway, I was literally playing on my DS, and someone, okay, so do you know, remember those ice packs? The ice packs that have the ice in it, the the Ziploc bags? I mean, ice packs have ice in them. Yeah. Okay, but do you know like the handmade ones where they <laughs> take a ziplock? That's probably why they're called ice packs. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably also part and parcel to the reason why you were getting beat up because you were probably saying stuff that was ice. I was playing Pokemon. Oh, my bad. Okay, but what, what's up with the ice pack? Okay, so but remember ice, the ones talking. where they're like in the ziplock bag? They're not like professional ice pack like ice packs. They're the ones you make yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like a ziplock bag with water in it, and then yes. you freeze it. Okay, so what happened was, so they had had an ice pack. What had happened was, that's that's like the beginning of that. Not what happened, but what. You're getting a grammar lesson What had happened was, I'm sorry, go ahead, James. Oh, my God. (laughs) You know what? I I probably got beat up on the bus, too, because I was talking too much. That's so weird. Nah. Okay, go. So literally, okay. So it was like melted. This kid had an ice pack that was melted. Okay, so it's water. Yes, it's water. (laughs) Melted ice, right? (laughs) Crazy. Uh, 
H two O. So it's a water pack. It's not really an ice pack. It's a water pack. True. H two O in its liquid form. Okay. And this kid in front of me literally was like taking it. It was like dripping water on me while I'm playing the game. And I'm like, stop. That's hilarious. I'm like, leave me alone. I don't want to because I'm not friends with the guy. Why wouldn't you just take the bag from him? We're getting there. Okay. Okay. Let's let's (laughs) don't 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 spoil the the thing, Avalon. Don't spoil the event. So literally, I'm like, stop. And he like keeps doing it. I'm like, stop. And he's like, keeps doing it. I'm like, stop. Okay. And I'm not being like mean. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not like, hey, rah, rah, rah. And I'm like, no, just like, stop. Like, please okay. stop. Okay. So anyway. You're nicer I, than me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would have lost it. So literally, I got up, right? I'm like, bro, stop. Okay. So I like, and by the way, this was like eight years at this point. Like, it's starting to phase in my head. But anyway. Um, so worst comes to shove, right? Literally it ends up with like these two kids trying to beat me up. And then like, I, oh, this was in middle like, school. I just realized this is middle school. On the bus? Yeah, this is all on the bus, right? The- like a bunch of stuff happens, right? And we're like middle schoolers, right? Yeah. And literally this big high schooler decides to like come from behind, like hold me back while these guys are just wailing on me. Okay. And it's like a whole thing. Literally the whole entire ice pack. Did you lose? The fight? <laughs> what did he lose? Like there's a Avalon, winner. Avalon person. Two people beat him up. Of course he lost. Three <laughs> people. No, there's three. There's three people at this point. Okay, it's a three v one. Okay. <laughs> and by the way, literally, now you're getting jumped in the middle school bus. By the way, this is literally at point. I don't remember like any of this. Like, I my brain like turned off for like half of this. Okay. You didn't like fight back though. Like, no, at I all? did. I was. I was fighting back. I just don't remember. My brain just turned off and I saw red. Three okay. People. That's a lot. An onslaught of three people. Yes. Not one, not two, three people jumping on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was crazy. <laughs> and you have lived to tell the story. Yeah, I, mean, I don't I think don't, they could have punched that hard I wasn't if they partic- were in I don't school. remember being hurt. Okay. I don't really remember being hurt, but what happened was the whole entire what ice pack. What had happened was. What had happened was. <laughs> okay, go ahead, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> was literally the, um, the whole entire ice pack water just got spilled all over me you mean like the water spilt on you <laughs> the ice pack water i got spilt all over me Avalon. whatever <laughs> so i was like Wait. so i get to my parents and i, I had a <laughs> flute lesson right afterwards so what was supposed to happen was i was supposed to be dropped off from the bus uh-huh. and my mom was immediately going to take me to flute lessons in alton and i lived in jerseyville right and i literally get there and i'm like mom i need to go get a change of clothes and she's like what the heck happens like how much water could it have been if it's like, it was like like I'm thinking like a you know like one of those squares. Okay, so this is like the you know, zip here, like I'll do that. It with the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one of those little guys. It's like half full. It's not like a gallon bag or anything. No, it know? wasn't a gallon. It was enough that it like soaked everything. Jeez. There was a senior in my class, or not in my class. There was a senior on my bus. I was like a sixth grader, and she was a senior. How, right? What? How is your? This school? is a bus that goes all the way from high school to middle school. Like it would go to middle school, and they would go to the high oh, school. That wouldn't that take forever to drop people off? Uh, it was fine. It wasn't a big deal. Oh, it's a smaller. It's a smaller school district. Jersey is much smaller than. Yeah, I, was, I guess that makes sense. We had like ten buses just for the high school because there's yeah. Many well, kids. we had. It was all based on area. So, like, this certain area of the county yeah, that's how would buses pick up work. all the middle schoolers and the high schoolers. Oh, wild. And then the middle school wasn't too okay, far away. Okay, what did the senior do, though? Then we can talk about okay, the, so the senior. Stuff. I remember me. So, I was sitting on the bus on, like, the first day of school, right? Uh-huh. And there was a senior, and she it was she had just moved here from Alaska, okay? And How she's the like, hell would she move to Jerseyville from <laughs> I Alaska? I don't remember. Parents what? probably found a job in this community or something. Man. Maybe, yeah. That so pays anyway. as well as Alaska? I don't know. I, I feel get, like if you can live in Alaska, sorry, I just don't know how financially I would never she move She told out me of she would used to like walk to school in the snow in short shorts. Bro, she lived in Alaska. She's probably used to it. She's probably, used to it. She's probably yeah, it she's crazy. got like thicker skin or something she's got thick skin thicker blood thicker blood yeah she's but, like <laughs> yeah so anyway so she needed a spot to sit on the bus and i had a spot open so i was like she could sit next to me okay and like we chatted and it was cool it was fun it was wholesome it was great uh-huh. so literally when this whole happened she was like sitting a few seats behind right because this was later in the semester right yeah that was backstory now we're back to the present and the present meaning eight years ago okay okay so literally so what she does is she de-escalates the situation by pushing me into a, not like pushing bad, but pushing, like getting me out of the situation. 
she pushes me into one of the seats, right? Pushes me to the window, right? And then she sits on the, the hallway side to block them from me. And then she starts like going at them and like cussing at them and yada, yada, yada. Just the whole thing. Cause she's like protecting her friend, right? Super wholesome, super cool. Shout outs to her. I don't know if I would say wholesome is the answer. That was pretty wholesome. Okay. It I think maybe awesome. to you. Maybe, maybe she was taken up for her man. I was like five years younger. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm a she, sixth grader. Maybe oh. she was taken up for her friend, for her person like a, who she viewed as maybe her yeah, little younger brother. sibling. Yeah, yeah, I can you see know, that. I can see that. Yeah. So anyway, that was super cool. I think my if my younger brother was dealing with some, I don't. First of all, I don't think anybody would pick on him in the first place. My siblings are scary. The only embarrassing thing or thing like that had ever happened on the bus is that I wanted to nap on the bus, and some kid tried to sit next to me, and I didn't move. I was in you there. You wanted to what on the bus? Nap. Oh, I thought you said snap. You wanted to. You wanted to snap. And then uh, okay. he fell out of his seat. And that was really about it. Because I just didn't move like over enough. And I didn't know that he was trying to sit down. Because I was tired and not paying attention. And that was really it. Yeah. No That's... regrets. It was embarrassing for him. But I was like you just vibing. They're just chilling. I slept a lot in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there was a few times, though, where I would sleep through my stop. I have done that. My dad and my brother do karate together. We've been doing it since I was like 12 and since he was probably like 10. So, we, mm. so I feel like he'd be fine. Did, did you notice that when you said that there was silence? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. Right. You all do karate. Yes. Currently, you all do karate. Oh, yeah. Avalon yes, is the one that's going to protect us if we ever get in trouble. <laughs> fantastic. My I'm dad made me do it because I said when I was younger, I wanted to move to a really big city. And he went, I'm not going to let you move to a big city without knowing self-defense. And then we never stopped. I vibe with that. I vibe with That's that. That's a loving dad right there. He really is. is the best. Yeah. Greg. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of Greg, yeah. Greg ended up having a daughter who ended up winning a Starbucks gift card. I did win a Starbucks gift card. That was I the mean, best that was segue. A, that was a good segue right That, there. that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was a good segue. <laughs> Thank you. I try. I uh, try. Uh, yeah. I guess it's not winning as if it was just given to me. So I have three different jobs. I work for the gallery at the Edwards Ward Center. I'm the marketing and graphic designer. Mm -hmm. And then I teach there also. I teach third through eighth grade art classes. And I'm there like, mm. I just like, I just teach like one after like my shift. It's like mm -hmm. two hours or something. And I just like go through a little lesson and then that's it. Which I didn't know I was allowed to do, which I, which is really cool. And then oh my gosh, I, <laughs> sorry. And then I uh, also work for the bridge. So, and I lay out the paper, like the entire thing. That's what I do. So I've, all the layouts and everything that you see is, yes. everything is just me. <laughs> wow. Uh, but anyway, so I, I teach on Thursday's last session. And there was these two little girls in someone else's class that got totally, uh, their parents didn't pick them up. Mm -hmm. and they got kind of lost and they were like hey my mom isn't here and I was like w whoa okay so I waited with them until their parents got there which was like 30 minutes or something and they were crying and I was like oh my god hi Isabel yeah. and uh the mom the next time I waited because I wait for all the kids to leave because mm -hmm. I not only work at the gallery and teach I and teach you know so like I like to make sure everybody gets home fine and so she gave me a gift card for waiting with her kids. And I was like, I, it's also my job. You don't need to do that. And she's like, just take it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> hmm. uh, is there a board of directors at your art yes. center? Uh, could you just name it? I'm, I'm just trying to see because, uh, you know, I, I know I know some the, some older people. The and, president right now is Andrew Butts. No. But the old president was Scott Fleming. Okay, don't know that. Either. And they're, they're kind of... Uh, They're probably a little, a little younger. I don't know. Older people, right? I mean, probably what in their forties. Jane, Jane is a little bit older. Okay. I don't. No. But yeah, they're not. I guess they aren't. Su they're we not, had the older people old. quit <laughs> after a while because you have to. You only can serve on a board for about ten years. Okay. Because then you have to stop for five, and then you can go back and join the board. I guess that's a rule with five hundred one c three nonprofits. Which I didn't really think about or know until like this year, because Jane's she's like the oldest board member. Is her her time is about to end? But I don't know if it's like just ours since we're art gallery. 
Yeah. So. No, I, and the reason why I ask is there is a woman whose name is uh, evading evading me right now, and I know she's affiliated with the Edwardsville artsy community. Yeah. She's friends with a woman that I used to partner with in the Alden community with the Madison County Arts Council by the name of Catherine Nahorsky. And I cannot think of this woman's name who knows Catherine <laughs> Nahorsky very well. And I just thought that if yeah. I gave you all of those cues, you would instantly Man, bring I'm... her name to the forefront. But my cues are not definitive enough. So I don't know. I know. I understand. I work with a lot of the board members, but they don't, I don't know, it's not very often. Like, gotcha. it's like once or twice a year, maybe I'll get an email that they need something from me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, hi, Isabel. Hello. Okay, hi. guys, starting. <laughs> so now let's let's do some introductions here. So we've all, we've had Jared here pretty much the whole podcast. Hi, did Jared. Did the intro with us. Did Good. the intro with us. But let's, 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 uh, let's do some formal introductions. So we're here with Jared Hennings. Who is the? You're the advisor of student activities. That's close enough. Or you're like the grand wizard of the universe, title? or something. How about I, that? I, I like advisor. That sounds good. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I like. That sounds works. good. Yeah. And then we're also here with Isabel Flinner, who is the president of student activities. What's she, up, guys? She has a, a she has a much more highfalutin title than I do. Yeah. She's the president of student activities. It sounds cooler than. Jared, I think it sounds a lot cooler. It sounds more Isabel. official. I think so too. Yeah, we need yeah. a we need a good we need a good title for Jared. I'm thinking Grand Wizard of the Ooh. Universe. What's higher than a president? King? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. King of student activities. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Side tangent. Someone that needs a new title. Daniel Nase needs a new title. What is his job? He's I'm recruiter. Confused. He's recruiter, a recruiter. Yeah. Really? That's he's literally the sole recruiter. Can we just have his job title be his name? Because everybody knows him like that. He's anyway. the Daniel Nase. Everybody Nasse. knows Daniel Nase. He needs like a better title. That's like more. It, official. That is his title, Daniel. Because like, because <laughs> literally, like when I'm writing, like when I was writing articles, I was like, Daniel, what's your uh, what's your title? And he's like, I'm a recruiter, and I'm like, that sounds lame. Come up with something better. I'm sure he posts on the Lewis and Clark Snapchat more than the actual students at this point in time. That is so true. He <laughs> literally runs that thing. It's so funny. It's but he needs a better really title. Funny. It's driving me crazy as part of media that he has a bad knit title. Tell yeah, him. I didn't even realize that Discover Day, the event that's happening Isn't that yes. today, I didn't even realize that it was occurring outdoors. I thought it's it was outside today. I thought it was inside. Gonna so have to... Discovery Day was inside okay. last time. We need to talk about events. So I guess, well, Discovery Day. Okay, so the. Wait, Discovery Day is today? Discovery is today. Day. Oh, yes. I thought it was the Thursday for some no, reason. Today. Only... Today from four to six o'clock. Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. So technically today, I always like to try and keep the dates consistent with the day that the podcast actually releases because it's not releasing today. I always uh, we always release it coincide with the paper. I mean, it's not like it, everyone's going to expect this to release like at the exact same time no, as I, today. I always just like it's always funny. So, but I'm anyway, pretend it is. Today, we released it right now. The today, <laughs> so the you. real day of today totally <laughs> is. <laughs> um, let me pull up a calendar and see what today is. I don't know. Why not here? It's the ninth. Monday, October 9th at 10:30 no, in the not, morning. It's not October Which is 9th. really technically it's either it can go by two monikers, either Indigenous Day or Columbus Day. Yeah. I didn't think we were And I think there's a day. right answer. Uh, community colleges can pick kind of which days they take off. So like let's say there's a day off that like the district has like uh -huh. technically sometimes colleges don't have to follow it but then it's also vice versa for like districts like sometimes we'll have a day off that they won't have right because I think my sister's off school today and she's like in like <laughs> I had high. so or many people I had so many people ask me are we do we have uh school today do we have school I mean, today? my mother called me last oh, night really? and he was like hey like so do I have to go to school tomorrow and I was like uh yeah. Jeanette texted me literally a few weeks. Jeanette's the editor in chief of the paper. She texted me, and I was like, uh, and I had to like text one of my teachers. I was like, do we have class? I don't know. Thing? Louise canceled class, so I didn't have class. Today. I just literally, um, but yeah. So I wouldn't have gone anyway. Okay, let's 
Quick, okay, quick tangent. Okay, Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day? Indigenous you, People Day. Yeah. Wait. Columbus was a horrible person. That is literally my thing. He, like, like, cut off people's hands. He was sent back from the place that he grew up for, and then when he was when he finally made it back there, they arrested him because of how much he sucked. It'd be kind of like, I feel like it's the equivalent on if we, like, celebrated the end of World War II by calling it Adolf Hitler Day. It's like us Day. celebrating Thanksgiving. Like, it's that's terrible. Yeah. Thanksgiving is also bad. You know they just killed everybody? There was no thanks or giving. They mm. just killed everyone. You know? It's, it's probably more looting. It's like, that is true. It's like, oh my God, we had this really nice meal together. As but no. You no. Know, I'm sure they were horrible, racist people who killed these indigenous people, took all of their land and their things, and then left. And then we're like, guys, let's make a holiday out of it. Like, I don't know. Is the, is the there's whole, no way. Is the whole story... I thought the way it worked was, and I could be wrong... I thought literally the event that did happen where like the like the the indigenous people like shared stuff with them and then they did have a big meal. Well, yeah, but I was under the indigenous in people did share things with us when we came here. However, well, this we is what I were the worst to them. Even that's though what I thought. So that I, we even though they shared and even though they even knew English when we made it here and we were like, oh, my God, how did they know that? As if people haven't been immigrating around the world forever. <laughs> Like we were the only people that have ever existed. We are the only reason. people that ever existed. But like, yeah, it's not like, I mean, they shared things. We literally, they gave us an inch and we literally took a mile by murdering them oh, and yeah, everything so that they have. We were I, like, let's take everything that you guys own and all of your things and shove you on a reservation where you can have to live out your days in not your land because we don't want you there. Like, why did we do that? Because we're literally the worst. The worst. Yeah. It, well, it I, just happened to be that was the mentality of the day. You know? I mean, it, it's the mentality I, of right now. I was gonna I, say. I'm not saying it was right, but that was the mentality. I just of the don't day. know. I feel like there wasn't a lot of morals back in the day. There's they were no like, morals now. There isn't. <laughs> Nothing I, is changed. There's not a lot of morals. Everyone's just like, yeah, this is fine. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I, um, well, but yeah, what I thought with Thanksgiving, what happened was I thought like, oh, the cool like story where they share the corn and all that happened. And then like the next week they just killed them all. I'm sure that the, I was, thought that was I'm my, sure that there was never a big meal where they had, first of all, turkey, where the hell were they getting a <laughs> giant turkey to serve turkey as many people? Turkey has existed in. Yeah, but like. There's so many other animals, you know, that they would have probably had that were easier, like a deer or something. Well, it could have been also that you it know? came. The turkey could have came later, because it could have been just like a big feast, and then they added the turkey, turkey, turkey after the fact. You know, a lot of because that would happen though, with a lot of things. A lot of holidays and stuff like that are things that are just changed over time. Like yeah. how Christmas trees aren't actually a tradition They're, from anything. They were, no, it is. They are no. No, they got popular because the queen she said, put no, no no the queen put one in her house okay with candles all over it and everyone was like oh my god we should do that and then it became a trend I'm sure it's related to Jesus in some sort of way but she's the one who made it a thing good for her I thought it for was real. a pagan holiday thing uh, all holidays are pagan holidays well that they replaced that's true but I agree like, but I always thought like like Halloween how does that make any sense. Uh, well, that's I think that's Day of the Dead stuff. But anyway, back no, it's to not. Dia de really? los Muertos is a different day. Ah, in, it's like November like second or something. Well, they move stuff around. So Christmas originally was celebrate was replace or Christmas was the replacement of the winter solstice, right? I don't know. I could ask no, my that's mom. literally because the winter solstice <laughs> is like the December twenty third. I think it's like December twenty third, twenty second, right? I don't know. The winter it was called Yule first which was like you were supposed to like give offerings and things like that and then saint nicholas was a real dude also who used to give, yule time who used to give presents to kids and stuff that just became like a really cool man myth legend type dealio later on got so, real popular in the 80s when coca-cola bought the color red and used cool. it for santa that was super tight but yeah, like um, the whole thing you are with dropping nuggets of wisdom. Yeah, here. very interesting I, fact. I am like a fun fact person. So I I teach, right? I teach kids every other day or whatever. 
And I, they always ask me the most wild questions. And so I just know a lot of really random things because they ask me. And I'm like, you know, I've never thought about that. Well, they're useful at some point. Yeah. So Like how Barbie owns the color pink, too. Yeah, I knew that There's a bunch of companies that own their colors. And you're not allowed to use those colors if you get bigger. And you have to give up the branding rights. Same with certain names. Like in, like, anagrams of things. Like, I think Taylor Swift owns, like, some sort of anagram of her own name. Mm -hmm, Yeah. They always own stuff like that. And it, you never think about it until like someone has to use it. There was just a guy who was sued because he made his car look like Lightning McQueen, just like the stickers on the outside, and they were like, you can't have that. Katy Perry just got sued because they were fighting over her and Katy Perry spelt like K-A-T-I-E instead of the K-A-T-Y. She wanted, the, the real Katy Perry wanted her name to just be her name. So she sued like the Katy Perry the musician. And she got it. And so, like, Katy Perry, like, can't have, like, that trademark anymore because the lady who was originally Someone had the born same Katy name. Perry, you know, who got upset. You know, That's another funny. weird one that nobody talks about is that Mariah Carey tried to be the queen of Christmas or something. She is. And she is our queen. As, like, a branding <laughs> thing. And they told her no because there's an album out there somewhere that says someone else is the queen of Christmas. And somebody else did it first. Even though nobody knows who it That's is. That's so dumb. But I don't she care. Lost. Mariah quit. Carrie is the queen of Christmas. She oh. did lose, and it was wild. Have you heard of the the Mariah Carey thawing out meme? Yes. So, like, in September, they'll start saying she's starting to thaw out, and there'll literally just be a picture of Mariah Carey with, like, yes. an ice cube over it. And it's just, like, you can start at hearing the echoes of all I want for Christmas is you. I actually listened to that song yesterday. Was really Why? Because <laughs> I was in the... You hate Halloween? What's wrong with you? I listen to Ghostbusters this morning. Normally, I don't listen like to Christmas music, person. but I was just, I just wanted to hear like the Splatoon. Yeah. To Ghostbusters. I love Most Ghostbusters. people do that, apparently. Uh, listen, <laughs> Ghostbusters is one of my favorite movies. I love them. I've seen all of them. I've seen, um, I think I have seen them all. I, know that, I like old, my dad's really big on like old have 80s seen the movies new one? and stuff. Yes, I've seen the new one. Of course Thoughts I have. on it. I, I like it. It was really good and it intertwined the old stories very well into the new I one. Like, yeah, I did like More it More well. importantly... <laughs> my dad's really big on 80 movie, 80s movies and so he watched a lot of them growing up and so like I like a lot of really random things like I watched all of the Jurassic Park movies also all of the Transformers movies which I love very much mm, nice. Transformers I remember my kids so. watched Transformers uh, when you have kids that are currently so old that I can't claim to be their age anymore <laughs> Transformers Transformers and Teenage Mutant. Oh my God! Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Yeah, yes. those were the shows Love that those. I remember them watching. Yes, my yeah. brother's obsessed with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right now. Even, uh, I guess they came out with there's a, a new, new one. Movie. There's a new movie, and there's a new comic book that says the future of the turtles and how like and like what happens like at the end of their turtle lifespan. I guess, and my brother is obsessed. He says it's the best. Ninja Turtle thing he's ever seen, and I was like, yeah. "All right, that's yeah. a big statement." I know, right? <laughs> I, I'm not a super big Ninja Turtle fan, but like, I I respect it. I do. Raphael, Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Michael, Michael yep, and so, Michelangelo. Yeah, yep. He was my speaking, favorite because he's named after the painter. Speaking of Michelangelo. You got some events from the college. That, that was bad. Time. That was going to be a hard segue. <laughs> that was bad. Your first one was so this, good. This I'm was. sorry. What happened? I'm he so- said, speaking of Michelangelo. Okay, I had a good one when you said statement, right? I was going to say. I said I have, statement? Yeah, like well, right before you mentioned all the, the, the turtles' names, you said like state. I have this statement or something, all right? I was like, speaking of statements, events. and then, But then you went towards the, all the turtles' names. I'm like, I got to just do it. I love Ninja Turtles. <laughs> So anyway, so we got some events happening this uh, gonna, this month. I'm, I'm going to let Isabel talk about the events because she has the more highfalutin Ooh. job. Miss President, than what I have. you well, have speak, the floor. Well, before she has the floor, oh, I guess we now I got to do that again. Okay, well, give a second. We got we got some we got <laughs> some uh, we got some context. So technically, even though today is Indigenous Peoples Day, aka October 9th, it is actually the 12th. When anyone is listening to this, so oh. uh, so as far as anyone's concerned, it is October twelfth, and we should go from there. 
So okay. when I'm mentioning an event that's happening on the 12th, am I referring it? As it's today. today. It's happening it's right now. You, you guys got to go see it right now. You got to go. Right now. Right, right now. If we get it out on time. No, we are. It's from 2 to 4. So as long as you get it out before then, then. I'll probably oh, yeah. be fine. All right, what is Ms. happening President, on the 12th? Now you have the floor for real this time. All righty, guys. Okay. So some events that we have going on this October is on uh, today, the 12th, <laughs> um, we will be having a free bowling event at Bowl Haven Bowling Alley. Um, it allows students to come out and do some free bowling in their life. Um, we'll right have there. free pizza <laughs> and also the winning team and the highest score will get some prizes. I really want to go. So that'll really be from a so two to four. Mm-hmm. I really want to go and win. Because I was so close to winning last time, and I'm mad. You were close. I literally would have won. Okay, so what happened was I was playing with my What friend. had happened was. What had happened was. Sorry, the whole time. Okay, so I was. So my friend was playing, and then she got like she got tired, so she didn't want to play. So I was playing on two two lanes, right? You were kind of cheating. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was kind of cheating. Because you weren't supposed to do that. Okay, well. So it, that was, that's probably the reason why you didn't win. <laughs> Well, okay. Because you really weren't following the guidelines or yeah, the rules. Yeah, you got to dedicate yourself well, to one I'm team. Thank you. No, it was the dedicate same team. I was just playing one. as two people on the same team. Oh. So oh. there was, yeah, what? I was two of the five people on my team. Which is even a higher form of cheating. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. My friend was having issues with the noise. So, oh. so she played like, like one, she it? played one game and then I played the next. So I mean, it's okay. I lost. The thing is, so I'm it was, I think we played it. three games, right? And it was like the average between the three. three. Yeah. But if you had taken my game, okay, so let's say there's James one and James two, and James two was my friend that I took over. If I had taken the score from James one and then the second game from James two and then James three, I would have won. I mean, if I took mm. game one, James one, game two, James two, Sounds like maybe and game you three, James two, stuck with the James. I would have won. For real, you should have just stuck with one James or just, two James. And I, you would have just won. Yeah. No, I could, okay, well, I was still playing. You'd just be better. Because no, I literally got, like, <laughs> I got my highest score on James 2 on game 2. Then I you got like stuck with James I got, two? like, 180. It was crazy. I don't know. I've... I was so happy. 180? Yeah. Oh, that's... I literally would have won if it wasn't for the semantics of it. I was like, ah! What does that the mean? The semantics. Good word. Semant- the the don't semantics. I don't know it. anything about. I don't know what semantics bowling. means. I just use it in the right context. Does that make you, sense? You, do. you don't actually know what it means, though. I mean, as long as it works, then it works. What does the I word guess. "the" mean? It's like a conjunction. It doesn't have a technical definition. Okay, define it anyway. <laughs> yeah, what is conjunction function? Semantics mm-hmm. define. What does it mean? I'm curious. Watch you've been using it wrong this whole time. Watch the, the internet so not work. Hard. The internet is down in here. I'm SOS right now. Oh no one can reach gosh. me. Oh my gosh. I'm literally <laughs> can't. SOS. Good thing someone S-O-L? showed me what this was because you no, know like the room I, across the hallway. It says SOS. It says SC112. Like, so you can only get like SOS this calls. This if you're is like 107 or one of They're all one. It's all, they're all office rooms. So they all have. Random. Yeah. I just came in here and was like, "It worked." I, I saw you. Come. I was gonna go out and I was gonna go out. Whoever's across the hall, he showed me where. Yeah, I was. he's the one that's like managing everything. Monsieur Lemons. Monsieur. No, that's not Mr. Lemons. Oh, I didn't know. I, mean, a, I, thought that's I forget his was. name. Uh, I'll have to look it up. Rude. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm bad with names. But anyway, yeah, I'm like, I'm mad, and I want my, I want to, I, I want to get my crown. I want to win. Oh, <laughs> well, at the all you thing. have to do is come back Thursday today. Yes, today. And you have the opportunity. <laughs> what else is going on, Isabel? Okay, so after our bowling event that we will be having on the 17th, which I am you not something. 100% sure what day that is. Wait, Isabel, you missed something. What Tuesday, did she miss? I think. She missed, she missed the 13th. She What's missed kick or treat. That's kick? not That's not from student us. activities. That's not oh, from student okay. Well, I was just talking about events in general. Oh, why okay. would they know that? The rest of the event, they're student Isabel activities people. They are student activities. She's not magical. Yeah. She is. Isabel is magical. I am sometimes. Oh, okay. Obviously. But let me, I, let me let me real quick talk about okay, kicker yeah, tree, just because that way it's chronological. What is it? So kicker tree, it's the uh, so they're having the KD Cup, right? Which mm-hmm. is like, so there's three houses, right? There's students, there's faculty, and there's staff, right? Which I didn't even know the difference between faculty and staff until this event. No idea. So faculty are 
teachers. You are correct. And staff is everyone else. So Jared is staff. You are correct. So, but like someone like Luis is faculty. Yeah. Luis Jet is the head of the graphic de uh, design part. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, so basically there's three houses. Think like Harry Potter. Worst. <laughs> I 24 on each house. Is there 24? 24, 24 I thought... members, but it'll be separated into two teams. So there'll be like oh, yeah, uh, yeah. a first team for the students, second team, or an A team and a B team. Well, this is for the event specifically, yeah. Each. But like for, but about the, um, but just in general for the whole year, it's just all of students versus all of staff versus all of faculty. Yeah. And if anyone's like watched Harry Pot Potter, Harry Potter, and then they, they, if you watch like the first two movies and not the rest because they like drop this theme, the rest of the books and movies, they'd be like, oh, you did something bad. That's five points taken away from But no, they didn't Gryffindor. drop the theme in the movies. They lose points all the time. Not after, like, the second movie. That's because they're adults after, like, a certain point in time. They're, like, 14. <laughs> no. They just go from 10 to 14. What's that one where they do all the mazes? In, like, they're guys. 14 in that. And that one guy dies. They are 14. When that guy dies, he's 14? Yes. Oh, my God. Because you have to realize, they join Hogwarts when they're 10, and then I each like book is wrong. a year. No, I'm not wrong. <laughs> you can, all right. So they're like 10, 11 in book one, 11, 12 in book two, because they're years, they're school years. And so when, and by the way, when they graduate from Hogwarts in like the sixth, seventh movie, they're 17. Mm. They graduated 17? Well, no, what happened was they left a year early because Voldemort had taken over and the Death Eaters were running the school. Oh. So Harry, and they wanted to kill Harry. So they were like, we can't go to school. Because it's oh, ran by... he's Wolf. 11. You're a year off. How old is he in the Goblet of Fire? I don't know. That's when he... I tapped on my man. Target app. Hold on. How could you? <laughs> so anyway, while she's looking up that, so basically there's three houses, right? And we're gaining points and stuff. And there's he's 14. Be... I was right. 14. <laughs> I'm so cool. I'm such a Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. That's the only movie I like. I hate the author, but I love Harry Potter. In fairness, Harry Potter hates the the author of Harry Potter. It's kind of crazy. Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, he has a he has a. Uh, I really think really hard about who that was. I'm not gonna. He lie. has a statement <laughs> out being like, "J.K. Rowling is cringe. <laughs> Trans people are awesome. Shut up, J.K. Rowling." It's like great, love it. But yeah, so basically, there's these three houses, and then people are gonna gain points and stuff for attendance. Wait, but like, what the hell is the event? So it's I mean, kick, what is the event? It's, it's I don't know if I'm allowed ball. to say that. The kickball tournament. It's kickball. Kick kick is it the first? Is this the first one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We did have a kickball tournament last year, but I don't think it that wasn't for the KD Cup. It wasn't for the KD Cup, but it was called the kick, kick or treat. Kick or treat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so kick or treat. it was it was like around this time. Mm -hmm. So we did have the, the three separate teams, and then they all played together, and then whoever won. Uh, I think they still did get a trophy. It wasn't as like massive and as intricate as this yeah. new KD cup, but they did get a trophy. So here we go. I have a flyer. I'm gonna stare at it. So anyway, so oh, hey, if you guys want to join one of these teams, you have to contact a team lead mm -hmm. because which are uh, Jared, Jared, Daniel, Sha and Sean. Dr. Hill, Dr. Hill for students, correct. Who is faculty? Who are the advisors for faculty? I have no idea. Not Deb, know. Win. Oh my God. Deb Witskin. Witskin, Mike Lemons, yeah. and Shane Callahan. <gasps> Mike awesome. Lemons. Oh my, oh my gosh. The goat. The goat of all. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. This is really <laughs> small. So, anyway, it's really fun. It's happening tomorrow. So, if you guys are interested, contact Jared, I guess. Yes, you can. And you it's can, what? Jay Hennings at lc.edu. You can call me. You can email me. Uh, my phone number is 618-468-6400. Oh, that's a good Or phone. just J. Henning, even though the correct spelling of my last name is plural. has an S. But uh, for email purposes, it's just J. Henning at lc.edu. And we are definitely looking for students to make up our dominating winning team that we will yeah. have on uh, Friday. And so, and then, yeah, so, and then even if you don't want to play, if you go, we get points for just attending. That's students right. do. Yeah. Wait, seriously? Yeah, yeah so students, if you just go, yeah. you get points. Oh, my God. And Perfect. so, yeah. and then there's the KD Cup, so there's, like, this huge cup, and then there's going to be, like, it's not going to be a thing that you take home. They described it as the they brought hockey it. cup. They brought it, too. They, they, yeah. 
So there's all these little tiny plaques that are going to be around it. And so if you win, you get your name on it and it'll be in Lewis and Clark for like 50 years. Okay. So it is straight up just like. Yeah. Dr. Stanley Club. Stanley it's Cubs huge. Yeah. It's really big. It's like half of me. Oh wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty huge. big. You feel you aren't very tall. So I'm anyway, not, but that's still pretty big. I feel like for a trophy. So like a small toddler size. That's why I'd I say like things. a large toddler. <laughs> I'd say like at least a five year old. <laughs> I would. I would compare it to like a five year old, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and and I think it's been changed as far as the location. It was planned on being outdoors at the soccer field. But because of the impending bad weather that's going to happen Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, really? Now what? it's been changed to the Riverbend Arena. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, the, well that, know that, that, just, that just came out this, well, it came out Monday morning. It is. Oh, yeah, that's right. It came, it came out, out Monday morning. A few days ago, obviously. Yeah, a few days ago. Not, not today. Not today. Oh, yeah. Not Thursday. It came out. Monday morning. All right. So, and then, okay, so then next, I think, what else you got next? Okay, so next on our student activities agenda, which will be the 17th, which I said was a Tuesday. I don't know. It is a Tuesday. Um, so, yes. Oh. It's called Game Day. Um, so, this will be, like, the last event that we had. We had a video game day, but it'll be focused on not video games. So, like, the other games. So, we'll have... Ping pong, we'll have spades, card games, we'll have Uno, Connect Four. I hate Uno. We don't need you to be a hater. So <laughs> we'll just have a bunch it. of fun like board games, but also just like the uh, ping pong, the air hockey, mm -hmm. just a bunch of stuff like that to get students involved and get students um, excited to play with each other. Um, so that will be in located in the Commons. Um, that'll be from 11:30 to 1:30, trying out a different time to see if. Uh, we get more people uh, during that time span from getting out of their classes and such things like that. Um, and we will also be offering walking tacos. Ooh. I love um, walking tacos. Ooh, I forgot about that. Yes, that'll be something fun <laughs> because um, a lot of the students, especially the international students, have never heard nor tried walking tacos. So it's kind of cool to get to see them get excited about trying something new. Ring, ring. What, ring, what ring. are walking tacos? Is so it's just like you it have like. crazy. It, it is. Walking crazy. around with a freaking taco. Yeah, so it, that, it's that walkable. That sounds like that, it's, it's going to be sloppy. It's walkable though. So you'll have like walkable. your Doritos bag or like a Fritos oh. bag. You usually smash the chips up so that way you're uh. getting the, you know, the chips as far as they can go. So there's a technique to this. There is a there technique. Is a technique. So you just you don't smash, like no, eat it? No, you no, can't no, just no. go for it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm, 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 you have I'm, to, you know, <laughs> there's kind of like steps to get to have your, you know, the best walking taco possible. Obviously. Ring, 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 what? ring, ring, what are we, what? ring, ring. What's ringing? Who's going to, who's going to answer ring, ring? ring Hello. Ring. Hello. Is your taco walking? <laughs> I'm putting, I'm hanging up on you. You better go catch it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had I, to I do that. I feel like if it was walking, you could have catched it. Yeah. No. It needs to be like it's a running a, it's taco. It's a fast walk. Yeah, yeah. Fast, fast walk. Like my when walking. is running tacos coming to uh, student activities events? When are oh, we getting the running yet. taco? I don't know. My they, sister, they might be too fast for us. Oh, might sorry. not be able to catch them. <laughs> running. Are they going to have the, um? Running are you guys going to have the little horsey things this year? Oh. You know, you remember those from last year? I took the photos horse? of I, them. I they were it. so funny. See, you remember, did you bust it? Yeah. Yeah. I I think I remember I putting those did in the paper. Book those for this. Yeah, event, those were fun. Yeah, they were. My picture was in it of me doing it. There I was also James uh, busting that, it, doing the picture in the picture too. I took it. Yeah, yeah but well. nobody told me that you took it, so it said that he took a picture of himself, of himself in the paper because nobody said anything, and I was like, "Thanks, guys." Because now it looks ridiculous if they know who James is. <laughs> Look, it was a selfie, and I just have really long arms yeah, that are invisible. That you can't see. I was gonna <laughs> say you don't have arms. No. I'll try and put some. I'll try and put some photos up from last year's event. It was really fun. It was a great event. Mm -hmm, I had good. a fun time. Yep, I think it'll be a good turnout. I think a lot of students uh, will come, so I think it'll be a good time to get. Not only you know is it an event, but it's something that's like an active event, so students mm -hmm. are getting to like do stuff and getting to move around especially between their classes where they most likely would be sitting the whole time this is kind of an event for them to get moving get their blood flowing just kind of you know get people together doing something fun and to eat because students love to eat yes they I love, love to eat yes yes 
Yes, and the walking tacos are a big hit. They yeah. are a little messy, but it's worth it. I thought it. they were messy. They are messy. I never had issues with them being messy. You're not the ones making them, though. <laughs> oh, making them yeah, is messy. Yeah, it's like messy. the whole okay. process of, like, everyone coming through the line and, like, that process of, like, putting everything together, that's uh, okay. messy. But I that's feel like fair. once it's actually... In, the, in bag, the back, yeah. It's not as messy because you have like I was the thinking like how like terrible are people at eating walking tacos no, that they're like just, rah, 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 rah. Yeah, you it's definitely just like never the loading my sister. of them <laughs> using kidding. all the different things that we have. Oh, be also oh, it's like a taco because you're gonna put the lettuce ingredients stuff or the we'll have the meat, the lettuce, ah, cheese, the sour cheese. cream, right, 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 some right. uh salsa. Salsa. We also we had like salsa. uh what are those like peppers? I don't know what they yeah. are. Yeah, jalapenos. Jalapenos, yeah. Jalapenos. jalapenos. I'm not a spicy girl, so I don't really know what they are. <laughs> You're not a wood girl? <laughs> spicy. I mean, oh, spicy girl? Yeah. I mean, I am pepper in the salt and pepper like, podcast. You are. Yeah. But they're not. I they're like spices. So. I don't know. We all try it out. Doesn't everybody like something uh, spicy? I like, I like I'm, a little. I, I like spice, but not like who, stupid, yeah. crazy I'm spice. I'm kind of a baby about really? it. Really? Really? I'm not. I can't really do spicy. It has to have a reason. It can't just be spicy for the sake of being spicy. It has to. It has to. It has to. Um, the reason. It has to enhance is, the flavor. That spice is good. The reason is taste. Yeah. That's the reason. Okay, but I sometimes agree. things literally are spicy for the sake of being spicy. Have you ever done the one chip challenge? No, and I will not be doing that. What is that? It's mm. literally this very tight, like very spicy chip. It. It's one chip. <gasps> oh, and people. Yeah, I think I go. saw a, a feature about that on television. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Sure and it and the guy or the girl that did it actually freaked out afterwards. I mean, oh yeah, like, yeah, they'll oh, yeah. like get sick. They'll like yeah. start crying. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's well because okay, so like for Ooh. example, I think a jalapeno is about five to ten thousand Scoville units. And let me make what sure. What the hell is a skull? You it's know? like the way they measure like how spicy or how hot something is. Wow. So I just saw this video about what this. is right. What is white bread on that? I want to know. Zero. Zero. You know. I just but saw yeah, this no, guy. I think, he did it. What did you ate, say? Like, where is white bread one? on that on that scale? Yeah. <laughs> no, that would be minus zero. Yeah, I want to know. Is there negative? Zero. Negative. zero. Negative but yeah, zero. no. I Probably. think like I think a jalapeno is like ten thousand Scoville, like five ten thousand, right? That's a lot. A one chip challenge is one point two million Scoville. Nice. They had to remove it because they started getting sued because one kid had a heart attack. You can't buy them anymore? No. I do have one, though. I have one unopened. You so have it? it? You sell it like, sell it? like 20 oh. years from now. Like, just keep it. It's Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. There's no Antique. way they got... Yeah, that's, there's there's totally no way someone's going to want that. I think so. Wow. I should just... We should eat it on the podcast. I'm not eating that. Oh, by the way, it tastes <laughs> off. I, I don't... I haven't tried it, but apparently it literally just tastes like Fire. Like charcoal. Or something. <laughs> it doesn't taste, taste good. It's it meant to just like be charcoal. spicy. It's not I meant to taste like anything. There's like a spice like that. There's like the most expensive spice in the world or whatever, saffron yeah. or something. And it can only become it can only like saffron is the it's, it's the most like expensive. from the middle of a flower or something like that. That's supposed to be like Saffron is the most expensive. Pretty up there. But vanilla is actually the second most expensive. It's crazy how much vanilla bean goes for. Yeah, but we have like we've capitalized off that enough for it to be cheap. Well, no, we just no, we don't capitalize. We've just made it synthetic. Most vanilla now is synthetic. It's oh. not actual vanilla. Well, well, yeah, like most things are synthetic. That's like crazy. Suns. <laughs> That's tr so anyway, but yes. So come out to game day. It's gonna be super cool. Yeah. I forgot what we were talking about. Okay. Yeah, game day. <laughs> Isabel. Game day. Is it Barbenheimer time? So what? I didn't even watch Oppenheimer because Oppenheimer is good. I did see it. I did watch Barbie. It was really good. Oh, yes. Yeah. So our movie event, I believe we have that set up for 30th. Yes. You are correct, yes. madam. So we will have that set up for the 30th. We'll <laughs> be <Madam> showing <laughs> Barbie. Um, oh, game day, by the way, is in the comments. Yes, I did say that. Oh, did you? Oh, my bad. God. I'm no, so I'm bad. I'm sorry. Tried to include it all, but, you know, we you can did cover the bases again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, okay. So on the 30th, we'll be having a movie night. Um, that'll be at 7 p.m. Yep, 7 p.m. <laughs> and we'll be showing Barbie. So basically, we we're just wanting. And I think it's in Trimpy, right? It's in Trimpy Trim 141. Yes. The big giant yes. auditorium yes. in Trimpy. Yeah. You I won't miss it. It's 141. Yeah. But um, yep. So we'll be showing Barbie, and everyone can come out and dress as their best. We are going to have a costume contest, aren't we? Oh my yeah, god, Barbie, Barbie and, and Ken. Ooh, yes. I forgot about that. Yes, so students will be able to come out and be Barbie dress in whatever Barbie, or, Barbie Ken or Ken they'd like oh to God. be. 
And the best, where we are can, will end up getting a little Halloween basket um, with some goodies in it. Uh, that you're going to create? I'm going to create. It's going to be pretty so you cool. Know create out of thin air. She's going to use her wizard powers. And pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. My nice. Barbie wizard powers. Yes. I'll be Barbie. Oh my god, you should be President Barbie. Oh my god. That would be okay. so cute. Princess Barbie. You President, should be graphic President designer Barbie. Barbie. She said President Barbie. President Barbie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, really you wouldn't princess, understand, Jared. You're really not a part of the Barbie <laughs> MCU. <laughs> Evidently not. The BCU. The Barbie I'd Cinematic be Universe. Barbie in a real way. You gotta yeah. be podcaster Barbie. So you can just be whatever Barbie or whatever can you want. Just come out. So you can either bring your own blanket and pillow, um, or we'll have seating if you would not like to sit on the floor. So then if you're wearing a cute outfit or something like that, you don't got to get it on the ground. Um, so that way we'll have seating. So we'll have half of it for like, you know, lounging and with your own blankets and pillows. And then we'll have the seating section. And then I think we should also have um, some popcorn. So we'll have popcorn to give out. Um, Maybe we should have some other food as a probably as a, as a lure for probably. Pink I, wonder we could, I wonder if we could. I wonder if we could look up something that like is like pink or like Barbie like. Yeah, we need or to we need to have like some some other incentive for students to come out other than I mean not saying that the movie and the costume contest right and the popcorn are not yes. enough. But maybe there might be some students that need some additional incentive to yeah, come out. Yeah, maybe like some real food. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, pizza. I don't so, know. That, that's what I was thinking. I so, feel like movie nights and pizza go together. I think so too. And yeah, then... I think I think we're gonna have to work on that because it would it would just be fantastic if students came out for that event. Yeah. Not only to come out, but to come out in costume. Yes. Yeah. And oh. it'll be decorated. Because it'll be oh decorated God. for our oh, Halloween event. Oh, the space event. will be decorated. The will because be the next de day. Yes, correct. So the space will Excellent be all point. like Halloweeny. And that goes so into the next event. It does go into Halloween the next event. event. Yes, our <laughs> Halloween event, which will be the following day. That will be the thirty first on actual Halloween. So woo, spooky, you know, spooky. spooky. Um, so that will be yes. We'll have a Halloween event. That'll be from eleven to one. That'll be in that same Trimpy 141, so that'll be decorated from the day before. Um, we will have another actual Halloween costume contest. No Barbie theme, anything like that. Just whatever you'd like to wear. So we'll have a costume contest for that. We'll have candy bags, brownies, Rice Krispies treats, mm. just a bunch of uh, mm. food activities. Uh, also, we'll have a characterist and a photo booth. Mm. Um so I think it'll be cool, especially it's be a busy day. it'll be busy. I think it'll be cool because the uh, characterist will be able to draw like you in your costume. So like last yeah. year when we had the characterist and I dressed up as a you're uh, a cowgirl cowgirl. Yes, I was a cow. How did you remember that? Because I took a photo of her. Yes. I remember. I don't remember. But my characterist is me like in my Halloween costume. Aww. So it's with like my hat and it's got like me like dressed up as a cow. That's so, so cute though. Yeah, it is cute. So I, it's actually hung up in my room just because I like seeing it. I, I hung, hang up all my characteristics that I get. From another yeah, why another not? thing that could happen is during, uh, if you guys are coming to the Barbie movie and you don't want to like come up with a separate costume, you could literally just take your costume. Like let's say you're like, I don't know. The Headless Horseman or something. This is a random. You could just literally be like, Headless Horseman, Barbie. Right. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, like, it would make, <laughs> it would make more sense if they were like a vampire Barbie vampire. or witch Barbie or even Frankenstein Barbie. Headless, Franken you Barbie. You went with Headless Horseman Barbie. I think if you Barbie, add a little pink to anything, yeah. that made like Barbie. the least amount of sense. We, we should just get, have like, you put a bow on like, the what if we horse. like we should like offer we should get like head? some like There's cheap no like pink stencil horn. or something we could like use it for like little scarves and stuff scarves scarves like um, a scarf like like the no, one like, you wrap you know, like, around your neck you know like that fuzzy like stencil stuff you use no am i going insane what are you talking I about i can't think of it off the top <laughs> of my head it's like st you know what stencil is right yeah, yeah. where it's like okay. it's like it's like like home out right like from this, <laughs> I'm really a lot. Listen, it's okay. I forgot what okay, we could get called like, yesterday. <laughs> we could get like some like pink stuff that we could maybe like give out at the Barbie movie or something, so we could barbify yeah. a few people. Oh, are you talking about like lay? Are you talking about like the fuzzy yeah. like, um, like I can't lay stuff? What yeah, you kind of get stuff. just like the what? the. It's like it's like a like a bow. It's a boa. 
Oh, kind of. Oh, yeah. a boa. Oh, a boa. Yeah. Yes. yeah, they sell those at the dollar I store. I guess. Yeah, yeah so that'd if we be had cool. like pink one of those, I, we could probably maybe see if we could get like some pink, like the boas, maybe like the. Some, you could get some, some like plastic, pink accessories. You know, you should sunglasses. Get, you should, yeah, plastic sunglasses and plastic like pink cowgirl hats. That's what I was thinking. That'd be cute. Yeah, people would love that. You just know, if so you want to have like Ken stuff, you can get little bandanas. That's true. Like, I'm little just pink Ken. bandanas. Mm-hmm. So that way, yeah, if people don't have it, they can kind of accessorize. Yeah, that'd be fun. That, I think that would be cute. So, but ba- yeah, back on Halloween event, it happens from eleven to one, right? Correct. And there's a contest, so everyone. Uh, go all out for that. Yes. Oh my gosh. I remember a few years ago, someone literally dressed up as Barbie in a box. Really? This was yeah. before the movie. Oh. Hold up. Did I they, remember that. Students. Did they have a box? Students. They had a box. Were they, how did they walk around? They literally like, there was like holes in the Probably bottom like of it. So it was, oh, okay. Yeah, so they like pick up the box and then they would like walk with their legs. It was really funny. Oh. That was, that was two years ago now. Cause it was in the it was in the really recafe before it closed down. Rest in peace. Students really go all. They out do. For the there is a lot of conference. students who, Someone who dress up a lot, and yeah. like they like it's pretty cool seeing like what students come up with because a lot of times like I've never seen these or probably would never see these costumes. So I like the students being able to like explain to me like what their costume is and stuff like that because it's cool to like see them get excited mm-hmm. about like the costume that they've. Yeah, created. yeah, yeah. And awesome. the real cool aspect about the students dressing up in their costumes is that they would receive monetary prizes for the first second. I third like prize. money. So Money's I think it's awesome. like, I don't know, 175 and 50, oh my God. Or 180 and 60, something, something like that. Mm-hmm. 75, 50, 25, something like that. What I'm yeah. hearing is that I want to win now. So yeah. 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 Here we go. What, yo, are we allowed to enter at like couples? Uh, no, probably not. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm sure. That'd be you so guys cool. would just have to split. But then I gotta like, split the money with you. Yeah. But we might have a better chance of winning if we're like super creative with Because two. there was mm-hmm. people last year that, that I think there was at least one person that came like and it was both of them. Mm-hmm. Or there was like there was a group of like four girls that dressed up as something. I forget what it was. But they were all in a costume. That's so like fun. if they won, they would just split it. Oh my god, if I had four friends that wanted to dress up as the same thing, we would all be winks as fairies. <laughs> that would be so cute. Right? That would be. So yeah, it's gonna be a very cool. You said right, yeah, right. <laughs> we have an insanely very exciting month ahead of us. Yes, we do. Okay. Well, I guess it's only. And two. then also there will be a. I just talked to the woman that I booked face painters for, so there oh, will nice. be a mm-hmm. face painter that will be there for the Halloween event. So she'll be, Ooh. you know, you know, what would be literally face. sick. What if what if at like some of the student activities if we started getting like henna tattoo people? That'd be so cool. If you don't know what henna is, it's like a it's like a temporary oh, yeah. tattoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I lasts feel for like, like those a week. kind of take longer than like it would be to like face I painting. Know. I feel like because when I go like get henna and stuff, like it usually takes like thirty minutes for them to do Ooh, that like long? a henna. I think it oh, took wow. us an hour. It I don't know. Took us, like, 10 we got minutes, it at the Renaissance Fair and it took like Maybe five minutes. Real. Well, five I five would five. think like if you got something like Streamlined. small. Oh yeah. yeah. But, like I got like my whole entire like hand. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's this was it. So that took. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's this cute. Is the, this is it. I yeah. had one right there that it's cut. It's come off because I got it's on it, my like, hand. Like on my back tattoo. before. Is that permanent? No, this is henna. No. I have a permanent tattoo up here. The way it works is it actually oh. is kind of permanent. It kind of looks permanent. No, well, the thing is, it's yeah, permanent, so it, right? So it, it does wash off? Eventually. No, yeah, it oh, doesn't. It's like a stain. So, like, over yeah. time, gotcha, over the, time. Gotcha. you know. So, it's the thing is, the stain is actually permanent, but what happens is your skin isn't permanent. Your skin flakes off and new skin grows. So, the henna disappears as new skin grows. Oh, and skin flakes off. That's how it works. It's actually kind of interesting. Mm. I don't know. I never really thought about it. Well, that's that what is she's, cool. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So I feel like if they're small, like if they offered small, then it would mm-hmm. take less. Yeah, time, yeah, it'd be cool. And so yeah, that was so that's about all the events for it uh, for this month for October for October, yeah. correct? Yeah, I got a big, I got big news. What's I got yours? big S, I got big news. I am running for SGA president. Ooh, isn't that vote happening tomorrow? No, it is not. I would be freaking out if it was happening tomorrow. Why would it be happening on a Tuesday? <laughs> Well, tomorrow oh, wait. would, would check tomorrow, Wednesday. Tomorrow would be Friday. Tomorrow would be Friday. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dang it. Okay, so it's, I'm this, running this, this next podcast, Wednesday. So I, yes. I thought you knew when the when we were Jared's the goat. All right, Mr. if you're running for, what are you running for again? I forgot. I'm running for SGA president. All right. If you're running for SGA president, what are you going to do? Um. So basically, my, 
So basically my whole thing is I've been on campus for like five years. I know this campus like the back of my hand. I mean, Jared knows how long I've been here. I've been here for literally ever. Um, so I, I understand this campus. I know a lot of the student body very well. And I really want to work on more accessibility stuff. I want to work on having more food options at events. I want to work on and also working on communication as well. Because I feel like a lot of times I look at things and I'm like, I don't know what clubs are happening or what events are happening and kind of working on some of those things as well we literally kind of is discovery whiteboard. day happening today i didn't know that I did you know. know that well it would have happened on or it would have happened on monday, monday. yeah yeah did you guys Talking at home know that tense. that's crazy i have no idea so just working on more things like that and i think it'd be really cool i think i think that's a good goal Mm -hmm. especially with the club thing because we have a lot of clubs that i didn't know existed and literally there's some people that like we've there's clubs board. that just don't have people like showing up to sga meetings i want to try and help more more clubs come to sga meetings get more reps i literally was in the pride club room and they're like i'm like do you guys have a SGA they have rep? a representative who who they is were it? at the meeting that i went to yeah that's Zoom. true well yeah i was like talking to them so just like working on getting more reps at more meetings and all that and I think that'd be super cool. Well, it just gives them a voice too. Yeah. You know, like clubs can't advocate for things if they're not there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna get little buttons, maybe. Who's making the buttons? Is it me? Yeah. Because then you're not getting, but I'm kidding. <laughs> wow, I'm hurt. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very, I'm, I'm very excited. That sounds awesome. When do you? When is the election or whatever? It and is. And who can vote? How about that? Okay. Yes. So the next the election is next Wednesday. Not it, not this coming Wednesday. But no, it the is following next, Wednesday. No, it is next it's Wednesday. It's on the eighteenth. Which is the next Wednesday when this podcast is coming out. Unless okay. I'm oh. not thinking correctly. Oopsie. So it's the twelfth when this is coming out and the eighteenth so yes. is the next Wednesday. Yep. Cause okay. So yeah. And people who can vote are basically um club representatives. So if you are a part of a club and you guys don't have a representative, then Come be a representative. I don't think there's any like, I guess it's like per club if they want you to represent them. But like, I don't think you have to even be like a leader of a club to be a representative. No, I, no. There's, some of them to, have been yeah. members. You just have to be a member of the club to be able to be a representative. Yeah, I'd probably let them know that you're representing them right. as well. So, well, but yeah, yeah, literally, yeah, get, let's get more clubs coming out to SGA meetings. Yep. And you can come um, either in person or on Zoom. Yes. So, do does the Zoom link though get sent to the clubs? So, or do you have to ask for that? I would think that they get sent to. It does get sent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does yep. it get sent mm -hmm. to the advisor or like? It, yeah. Normally, it gets forwarded to the advisor of the particular club, and then okay. they would share it with like whoever is the representative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you guys have any issues, you can also I think email Doctor Hill. Uh, let me get. I don't. Yeah. So it's. Uh, yeah, Sean Hill is the person you would need to call or contact to get the thing. Or you could probably even contact Isabel or I, and we could probably even get you the Zoom link mm -hmm. while we're there. But yeah, it'll be, so it's Wednesday at uh, the 18th. Wednesday the 18th from 1 to 2 p.m. 1 to 2 p.m. Yep, and it'll be in. Um, River. It's in the Riverbend Arena. Riverbend Arena. It's. Uh, that room? I forget what the room's called. It's right. It's okay here. It's called the Skybox. Skybox. It's, it's whatever skybox. the big glass room is. Yeah. You'll see it the like minute you walk in. Yeah, yeah. So you walk in the doors. You go to the left. You don't even need to go to and, the left. You just yeah, go you straight. Do. Oh. It depends which. There's multiple doors that you can kind of access it from. But either way, you basically walk down a hallway regardless, and it leads you to there. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to miss if you're on the, in the correct building then it's kind of there for you to find so. so yeah make sure to come out make sure to vote for me for sga president if you do that'll be super cool and super awesome so yeah super cool super, super awesome here, put your ad poster here that you don't have put it <laughs> so yeah guys um so that's pretty cool that's happening let me let me pull my docs is there this your go. questions now? Yeah, I got some questions for you guys. You mean Alrighty. more than what we've already filled it? Excuse me? I thought, <laughs> we've been, I thought that's what we've been doing. It's, it's, it's answering questions. You mean you have more? I do. How, how long does this podcast run? Uh, as long as we as long as long we can. That's kind of what we've been doing. As long as we can. We're supposed to have been having an hour, but that hour 
ended 20 minutes ago. It so did? I was well, getting ready to say, we I know we've been talking for. Well, the, we actually started at 10, and I had you guys come at 10.30 so we could start an, out, an intro. Uh, and then Jared Kim's 40 minutes early, so Jared was just a part of our intro. I thought that everything started at 10. It's okay. That's fair. It was perfectly fine. So. It worked out. But anyway, so yeah, we got some, so I got some questions for you guys because, okay. you know, Ask we've been, you guys have been kind of just part of podcast, but you know, you guys are guests. We got questions for you and you know, there are people who are probably watching this podcast. They're like, who are these people? Why are they on I mean, my, we did have an in, a mini intro, you know? Yeah. But anyway. Well, ahead. we did have that, but like yes. besides that, right? <laughs> so I guess my first question is Jared, you're the advisor mm -hmm. for student activities. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Mm, the advisor just basically means that I work with a group of students and we program different kinds of events during the course of each semester to make sure that students have a balanced community college experience here. Normally we pride ourselves on having a different activity or event normally once a week. And that can vary anywhere from either free food offerings. Uh, it can include uh, different activities, bands that we book, uh, speakers occasionally, uh, different kinds of a different uh, also events surrounding various holidays like you know Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, as as we've kind of <coughs> talked about. Um, but you know, we, we just feel that it is important for students to have as much of a well-rounded experience here. I mean, there, there's, there's life to community colleges other than just going to school each and every day. And so that is what I think our mission and purpose is here uh, mm -hmm. as far as programming different student activities related events here at the college. And then kind of extending the same question to you, Isabel, what, what is the, what's the, what's student activities president um, I would say my biggest role is kind of just getting the word out about events and kind of trying to get um, students to join and be a part of student activities, um, as well as uh, making sure that throughout the campus it's known where our events are, when they're happening. So I try to go and update all the whiteboards and make sure that all the students know what time we have things going on and when they are. Um, just kind of also making sure that I can be available for most events so that way I can help run them and help make sure they uh, flow smoothly. So Nice. And then I guess my question, I'm kind of going back and forth between you two. So, Jared, my question to you is, how how did you, my so question, another question, are you only, is that your main position here at, at the campus is the advisor for student activities? Uh, I guess if I were to break it down percentage-wise, it's probably... Maybe, maybe forty percent of my job. I also help Sean Hill as a the co advisor for the Student Government Association for okay. SGA. So that impacts some degree of my percentage of work here. I am also the advisor for the Black Student Association, nice. which which is a club that we really need to kind of move forward to get get it up up and, and going more fruitfully. Um, so those are probably the, the main hats that I wear here on campus. Um, there is another organization that I work with called the Diversity Council. It's a combination of faculty and staff and we program different kinds of diversity related activities, events, and so I spend some time with that organization. There is another organization that I work with um, where we plan for, um, it's, uh, we plan events relative for Martin Luther King um, celebration that will obviously happen in the spring. Mm -hmm. And so I spend some of my time uh, working to plan that event and then for the spring semester as well I'm responsible for our Black History Month calendar so you know I there's there's a few different duties and responsibilities that I have here nice. on campus nice. you know. you're a man with many different hats 
Yeah. The Grand I, Wizard I was of saying, the Universe. Yeah. I was saying three hats, but I think they've... More like five or six. I was going to say, I feel like you mentioned way more hats than three. Yeah. May, okay, maybe a few more than those three hats. But I, I think the one real uh, joy about my job here is that it never becomes boring just, just because of the myriad of responsibilities that I have here. So, uh, you know, there is really no redundancy, you know, from what I do from day day to day, which is, which is what keeps it interesting and engaging. And then because I work around young people, it uh, keeps my vernacular, it keeps, you know, like I can say on and popping or that, you know, everything is crunk. Or, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be all that in a bag of chips, you know, so oh, yeah. that is based on, do you all Your still say is all that, good. do you all say all that in a bag of chips? I mean, I have, I don't know if that's I like, but, that not, but not recently, huh? You haven't said that ever? No, I don't think what? so. What? I'm too oh. busy saying poggers. Ew. Wow. Well, <laughs> I've said that though. Well, I, I think that's, that's one reason that kind of keeps my job interesting. <laughs> Dude, that's like a that's what? Like a, that's like oh a streaming thing. Oh my god! Nobody else knows what that means. Isabel, okay. I, I barely. Sorry, I'm not Pog, in the streaming line. Pog P O G stands for play of game. Which okay. is stupid that it. Do you know what goat stands it? for? No. I mean, yeah. Okay. Goat. You mean like great, great greatest greatest time? time? Yes. Oh. Okay. So okay. Good. Ooh. Good. Yeah. Sorry, I'm Everybody not. I'm not that, updated right. on Pog. Okay. Yeah. Pl- I don't play understand game. why people use that as like a like a exciting or like oh my god that was so great term because so it poggers. doesn't make any sense with the I definition. Don't know, man. I don't. I don't know. Why I would you say here. instead of this is so great? Why would you say this is so player of game right now? <laughs> this is so <laughs> the play so of the game. It works. Game, play Maybe. Of game. Yeah. I, so I anyway, I don't get it. I would and, definitely have not heard of that because that's way too young for me. <laughs> Pog. <laughs> I have never heard that. Me I am. I'm still stuck with. It's kind of sag. It. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it, no, what? No. Sag. No, no, no. S a d g e. It just stands for sad, this but we just weird. added g e for fun. Oh wow. Isabel, have you have you heard of that? I don't think so. I want it. to. <laughs> Isabel says she doesn't. <laughs> she, she doesn't want to be knowledgeable of that. That's kind of cringe. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, it's not kind of. <laughs> It is it cringe. Is. It's yeah, not kind of cringe. It is. It's Look, not... we're alive for like 80 years hey, you, and then you we die. you make up whatever terms you want to, know. James. If it My makes you happy, you 100. say it. Thanks, homie. That was kind of based. What do you mean? That's kind of what? What you said, that was kind of based, Isabel. <laughs> based? What are these You don't words? know what based means? Yo, you're oh, throwing that's... me too many terms okay, that I'm based is the with. opposite of cringe. It is? Yeah. That's not how I would describe it at all. How would you s- describe based? Like something that's like kind of stupid. No, base is like if it's like really cool and oh. good. Oh. I've never like used that base was base. something cool. I've never used that at all. I, mean, I don't think I've ever used it That's conversationally. Cringe. No, base is literally the opposite of cringe. That's how I say yeah. it. Good to know. Is? If someone says I have something so many really new good, words in my I say that's base. Now after today. Are these in the dictionary? Do you? Know? I have no. Maybe probably. like the urban dictionary, but that's I don't about know. It. I, I don't know. The... They just added about twelve new words yesterday. So interesting. Mm. They update it all the time, but like getting into the official dictionary, right? It's probably hard. It's pretty hard. You have if have, I like, had internet, I'd look it up. But I don't have and all this stuff, which you never really think about. Yeah, I mean that's pretty cool though. If you're mm. like, hey, I'm in the dictionary now. Yeah, like as a word. Right. It's mm. crazy. And I guess like my question for both of you guys, I'm gonna just I'm gonna merge it for fun. So, how did you guys get your positions? Mm. Wow. Well, um, I began here at the college. Uh, I came on campus when they had opened up the Riverbend Arena. Oh wow! And which was when? I'm sorry. Give us like what's the year? Four score Flashes and back. seven years ago. That was a long time. I was a kid. I remember going there as a kid, so this is going to be... It was, Man, you really got to do it like that. Year? What's our year? Is it pre-us? I, yes, yes, it's pre... No. Oh, well, pre-being alive or like yeah, pre- Yeah, pre-being alive. Oh. oh. No, you, it was... You were born in what year? 2002. Oh, wow. It's, <laughs> it's a slightly pre-you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, my God. And so oh, they the Riverbend Arena had been built, and they needed to have a facilities manager and so I was hired for that position and so that transitioned into 
I was working with the athletics department because the athletic offices were in the Riverbend Arena. And so then I, I transitioned from facilities manager to sports information director. And then the, the this is a long story. So then the <laughs> soccer coach was working as in student activities. And so he didn't want to continue to work in student activities. And because I was in the in that office in that area, I stopped working as sports information director and became uh, an employee. Well, not employee, but I became having the responsibilities and student activities. And so I've been working in that behalf for a, a lot of years. I remember, I remember going to the Riverbend Arena as a kid, and they had this thing. I can't remember the name of it. But they would have, it was like a fair, right? Mm -hmm. And they would have like balloon, like not balloons. Uh, they'd have like the blow up bouncy houses. They had a climbing wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. A blow up climb. Do you know what this, what I'm talking about? It was, a f it was, this was when I was younger. I well, can't remember what it's called. I mean, he's probably been done like hundreds of events. You're going to ask him to remember this one <laughs> from a random time when you were well, like I wonder eight if years it was, old. Well, I know it well, happened multiple times. Yeah, That's why I'm well, wondering it, if it was it an annual. It could have been. There were different community organizations, different community entities who would plan events for the Riverbend Arena. And so mm -hmm. I was the liaison for those kinds of events. And so that could have been something that was – organized or sponsored through the Alton Telegraph where they had events where they would have different vendors and as mm -hmm. an extra for the for the different vendors that were there they probably would have the inflatables yeah for, for kids so that families would bring out their kids. I'll ask my I'll ask my parents to see if they remember exactly what the event was called because I remember that's very nostalgic for me so it's kind of crazy mm -hmm. and then I guess Isabel how'd you get your job were you um, voted in? Uh, no. So basically, uh, I started coming here last fall. I was just taking one class and... Wait, were you just taking photography? I was just taking That's photography. That's really funny. Yep, I was just taking one class um, just to see how I worked in just the college world, basically, and kind of decide if I wanted to continue going after that. Um, so I think I just went to an event and kind of just made myself known, <laughs> kind of introduced myself to Jared, um, and then just kept going to events. Uh, then I was going to meetings, um, and then in the spring, so last this past spring, our president at the time uh, had some classes that conflicted with our meetings and things like that, uh, so she had to step down. So... Basically, I was the next best thing, apparently. So um, you were the next best thing, no yeah. doubt about it. Not not apparently, you were the yes. next best thing. Yes. Yes. So basically, my whole time um, being here on campus, I've kind of just as soon as I came, really, I started being a part of student activities. It's something that I really enjoy. Um, I like being able to, you know, not only kind of get with the students, but just kind of help them get with each other, just kind of run events. It's something that's really exciting for me. I like looking forward to doing that. I like having the different events during the week. I like planning stuff like that. I, I think it's really fun to be able to plan the events and do all the behind the scenes things and kind of watch it get put together and watch the students get excited about it and people show up. So nice. it's been really fun. And then also you're not even just um, student activities president. You're also the associate editor for the bridge. Yes. And so, so yeah, you so you work with us. We're yes, I love lot. doing that. I love writing. I love taking pictures. So I just got the associate editor this past um, this new semester. So this fall semester, um, and it's been exciting being able to do something I've never done before. I've never done any. Be, I've never been an editor before. So it's pretty cool, kind of getting a new role and kind of learning the ropes and just getting to spread my knowledge about journalism so that's really yeah. my passion so i like doing it oh, yeah it's pretty good pretty good did you have any questions you wanted to ask these two mm. lovely people you mean there there are more questions <laughs> yes i guess have, if i had to, i guess if i had to ask one question like ever uh you know it's almost halloween do you believe in ghosts and if you do why okay i would wow. say yes i believe in ghosts because I didn't have like a fun like this is a fun question. I didn't have like that's a serious fair. That's question. Fair. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I would say yes, I believe in ghosts because I think I mean 
who wouldn't want to be able to like go back as I mean, me personally, I'd like to be invisible at times, you know, I'd like yeah. to go do things and see things without people really knowing that I'm there. So mm-hmm. how cool is it that after your life, yeah. you know, you get the opportunity to kind of just go do things and people don't get to see you. Like, I like being antisocial sometimes. So like, that's <laughs> yeah, the but best you have to thing. Be antisocial for life. Antisocial like, well, ghost. I guess after you, life. with other ghosts, you can hang with other ghosts. That's true. So like, you can go like right. with your other friend ghosts and go like, <laughs> go do whatever you want and nobody else knows about you it. You ever had any like spooky ghost interactions before? Um honestly, mm, there is one time that I stayed mm-hmm. at this uh when I was in Wyoming, I went and stayed at this haunted ghost uh like little town. So they had like a bunch of different You did this like, on purpose? Yeah. So well actually my mom signed us up for it and she decided to tell us the night that we were staying there, oh. that it was haunted. Sounds like a horror movie. Yeah, so we the went beginning and before uh, everyone dies. we went and stayed there. Uh, we my brother stayed in like a wagon, so they had like an old wagon that they turned into like rooms, uh-huh. and then we stayed, I believe, in maybe like the laundry mat, but it like wasn't actually a laundry mat, but they like so there was like a store, there was like uh, like a bar, there was just like a bunch of different like buildings. It was a whole like little town. Uh, and then when I was in the bathroom, it started, uh, my music started playing. Like, I didn't even press no. play. And it was, like, uh-uh. this song where the song no, begins you. with, like, a baby crying. So, like, all of a sudden, like, it's like a, a, it's like a rap song, but it just starts with the baby crying. You were so like, like yeah, I, I just, haven't had that many experiences. I just hear, I'm just sitting there, mm. and I just hear, like, my music turn on. Uh-uh. And it's, like, starting to be, like, this baby crying. And, like, it freaked me out so bad. But then I realized, like, it, it was my music. But at first I was, like. What is going uh-uh. on? That's terrifying. Mm, yep. That's interesting. That was that was the summer, so that was a pretty interesting. Oh, we ended wow. up not staying the night there. We ended up leaving. <laughs> You're like, this is too much. We're not doing this. We ended this. up leaving because the uh, lady who, the people who were running it, they weren't there. They had their daughter there, and she left. <gasps> so it was just us there, like, all Alone? by ourselves. Uh-uh. Yep, no. so my mom was like, uh, let's go sleep in a hotel. So... It- we did. Yeah, I would have done the it same thing. It was interesting, but it's like been covered by like, there's been like a documentary about it. Like <gasps> people have come and like people go there because they want to have like it, paranormal experience. experiences. Wow, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I um, there's a there is actually um a like a really haunted place kind of in Jerseyville. There's the Cheney Mansion. Oh yeah, in Jerseyville. That's also. Mm-hmm. You're looking Cheney. at something. Yeah, he's telling us to wrap <laughs> it up. Oh, okay. Yes. So, but yeah, so th- th- I don't know. I don't know if I believe in ghosts in a sense because like, I'm like a man of science and it's like there's no... Man of science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I don't know. I don't, I that guess slang, there's a possibility. With the slang you use, you, you want to be termed as a man of science? Yes. <laughs> Sciences. Right. Anyway, what do you think, Jared? Do you like, do you believe in ghosts? You know, I would think that if you live in a community like Alton, which has many ghost related places, residents, um, you know, I think you have to have some believability in ghosts. Some, I mean, mm-hmm. some, I mean, it doesn't have to be a serious believability, but you know, when people pass away, you know, I mean, there's no guarantee that they're going to stay away for an indefinite period of time i guess yeah they could they could easily come back and and visit that's true. and alton right. is really like it's, yeah, it's kind like of like spooky. termed to be like a haunted like there's the mcpike mansion it's that's the, supposed to be haunted that's oh, yeah. my uh my best friend that's her family so it's like that's her great 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 grandparents house mm-hmm. it's the most haunted city in the country i think what they say Hold it's up. pretty high on the list i think it, I think is. it is like it alton is. is yeah it's definitely not the most i haunted. think it is i could i I'll oh it is, it is. It's, it's pretty it's, high it's up there in, in i was the, gonna say it's three. definitely the, like in the top but it, it, there's no way it's the most haunted like salem exists i would bet it's in the top three cities in the country that are supposed if, to be if the, the internet works i'll let you know I'll if anything i'll i'll editors know i'll add it Editors know. Let's look it up. You're going to put like it's 17th or something. It's 17th in the country. <laughs> Which would still be kind of crazy. I mean, I think yeah. it would be top haunted cities. In... It's either the most haunted in Illinois or okay, the most haunted. So this is I'm the sure it's the most haunted in Top Illinois. 10 in 
America. Let's go down to the bottom. So it says somewhere. It says that it's not. Doesn't look like it's even on here. I don't know. <laughs> this looks more of like Avalon was this not. This is more was like not correct on that because like I know Alton city. is highly ranked as far as being it's one of ranked. the more haunted cities in the country, yeah. not just in the state. In the country. In the country. Yeah, because I've heard the same thing. Really? It's because there's, well, you have to realize this place was kind of nuts during the Civil War. Because this was like one of the lines. There was like a crap ton of like Confederate soldiers that were brought here to be imprisoned. I don't know. If you guys really want to get haunted, you should visit my great grandparents. Literally, what happened was they had a. Held up by a tree. They had like one of the only war prisons. It's America. it's, It's Alton's most, or it's America's most haunted small town. Oh. Well, we, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's, so that's fine. That's, that's pretty damn good. Is. I feel like that's what it. So like when I looked it up, it was showing me like big cities like Chicago or like yeah, San Francisco that's and like Savannah, Georgia was like the top one, which surprises me because I've never thought of that as like a haunted wow, place. I think Georgia but is so Alton haunted. is America's most haunted small town. That's fine. Which which refutes what Avalon was trying to say that yeah. Man, that Alton was, was not ranked. Period. It's ranked number well, one. Right. You proved me wrong. You proved me wrong. Well, I think a lot of it, if people say that the the limestone like holds that energy. I've heard that. Like the rocks. Yeah, the mm-hmm. rocks. Come mm-hmm. on, well, rocks really hold does. a lot. And then the well, thing is, yeah, during the Civil War, they had a lot of um, they had a lot of Confederate soldiers here, and they were like they were like in terrible conditions, right? Like, I mean, yeah, yeah Confederacy bad, of course, but like, I mean, we should still treat like soldiers with some they're still humans they're still humans right yeah but anyway it was kind of crazy like and then they had like smallpox outbreaks and stuff i mean most places had smallpox outbreaks well yes but then they were having them in the prison so they just had like this island in the middle of the mississippi river and they would just send them there to die well so like kind of like alcatraz but like here Mm -hmm. yeah yeah but they um but yeah they had a i was uh taking some photos out by the by the lewis and clark bridge was it there and there was a there was a um like a memorial to oh. all the people that got like killed that way or died oh, that way. What? All right. Well, we but anyway, to... yeah, we're going to wrap it up. But we'll just really? Do the... you yeah. Mean, you, you don't have any more questions to ask us? <laughs> no, that's Oh it. my gosh. <laughs> We've only been talking for seemingly about an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> has it not been an hour and a half? It no, has. it has. It's been maybe a little bit longer. It's been like an hour and 40. Oh, it's almost getting to two hours almost. Yeah. Well, when so... you all in- invite us back, Isabel will come. Okay. Gotcha. So what, where can we reach? Can- Goodness gracious. So what do you guys want to promote? Give us socials. What do you guys want to promote? How can people find you? Well, um. For one, I would say if you're a student on campus, make sure that you're looking at our whiteboards in the buildings. I update those monthly. So those will have the rundown of our events that we will have. Um, also, check your emails because our events will get sent out uh through that way as well. Um, also, we have uh, Facebook. Yes. 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 There, uh, there are definitely social media posts yes. that get forwarded to students as well that inform students about what's going on, student activities related. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you go to our website, you know, you just go to the home page and then you click on students. And then after you click on students, to the right of that page will be a listing of student activities related events. And so that keeps you up to date on what's happening, when and where. Nice. Cool. And uh, where can we reach you guys, like personally, just personal socials and stuff, if you want to share? Yeah, I mean, you know, as, as I mentioned, my, my phone number is very easy to remember. It's Six one eight four six eight sixty four hundred, and uh, as I was when I was looking at the TV screen and I and I see myself there, I thought that people were able to see me playing with this rubber band, but it's okay. Yeah, and uh, or they can uh, use my email address. That's J Henning H E N N I N G at L C dot. Edu very easy to find. Yes, and I can also be reached at my LC email, which would be I Flinner, it's F is in Frank, L E N E R at LC dot Edu. And Isabel, I do know you also have an Instagram and stuff, right? That yes. you post some of your ghost town, yes, stuff on. So I just have like my main um, platform that I use, which is just I S 
A B X L L X. Why? <laughs> I'm just curious. Um. Well, uh, to be very honest, uh, when I made it, I was probably like 13 or 12 or something That's like that. Right. And I wanted to use. It's a little embarrassing to say, but I wanted to use X's for all of the vowels in my name. But for some reason, I didn't put it for the A. Uh, <laughs> didn't use that as well. Um. So now there's just two random X's for the E's uh, for whatever reason I thought in some grade. Brand identity. Yeah, so I've just kind of, it's been literally the same username since sixth or seventh grade in junior high. And I'm just like, you know what? Let's just stick with it, you know? I respect that. So I've just just committed to it, honestly. So nice. the A is not a vowel for me and that's okay. All right. That's fair. (laughs) And I don't think we can do a big outro this time because we don't have any time. No, so that's true. That's let's true. Let's just say bye now. But we got we got to do our outro. What's the we have an outro? We, we were there. We made it. And we're like I say like I you, you say. Oh, I didn't think you were serious. No, I, I was. I, you do not know how to do it. No. So you say like I'm salt, and I say I'm pepper. That doesn't we, make any sense. You are salt. I forgot. You say I'm salt, and I, then I say I'm and I'm pepper, and we say and that's a podcast. Oh, uh, do we have to? Mm. Do that? We got to do it. It's so it's cute. Uh, See, Isabel likes it. That means we have to do it. All right. Okay. I'm salt. And I'm pepper. And, that and that's was a, a podcast. podcast. There we Bye, go. guys. We're Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're setting you free. You're no longer held hostage. Yay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>